Hi everyone! With 2022 coming to a close, I wanted to make a video focused on some productivity and goal setting related topics and also showcase what I use, which is Note Plan, some of the newer features in here that support work towards these things. I again am using Note Plan, which is a Mac and iOS app. I really like Note Plan because it does integrate with my calendar, even my reminders, and it also is very free flowing. I have a lot of freedom over what I want this to look like. So it is tasks, but I can also just put in paragraphs. I can do writing in here. I can do everything. And it has integration of what is called daily notes and project notes, which project notes are more like you might think of your Google Docs and calendar notes are just assigned to a specific day. Now what's new is that note plan also has monthly, yearly, it also has quarterly. I just have that toggled off. It is a preference. I'll show you really quickly in your preferences. You have the option to have weekly notes, monthly notes, quarterly notes, and yearly notes. At the moment, I'm just using monthly and yearly notes. So that's all I have toggled on. That's all that you see. This is all markdown based. You do have some preferences for that, but I'm not gonna get into the nitty gritty of what note plan is in this video. I have some other videos on that. I do wanna highlight some of the new features that are here, how they work, and also how this supports some yearly planning, particularly with the monthly and the yearly calendar notes that are new. So first of all, here's how I might plan a day out. Sometimes I use something that's more like a template. In this case, I just had some categories. I know I wanted to do some video making, make this video, some social media stuff. So I kind of drafted out some ideas for some social media posts here. And then I needed to work on some presentation stuff. So I kind of had three areas and that's how I decided to organize my note for today. In Note Plan, there also are templates that you can create your templates. And a lot of times I'll use one of my daily note templates and that will be a little bit more structured. Like at the beginning, it has my agenda. It has maybe a morning routine. I have some personal goals, some work goals, and you can create categories that you use all the time in your templates. But for this day, it was a little bit more free flowing. When I finish a task, I can just check it off. If I don't finish a task, I can move it to another day and that would defer it on the calendar as you can see. And something else in Note Plan, if you press option and click another day, it actually opens in a split view like this. And so you can see that it is copied to that other day. However, something that I love about Note Plan that you might not know about, let me undo that action. Something that I really love is say that this whole thing, I don't wanna do it today and I wanna do it on the 29th instead. I can just select everything I wanna move and I can just drag it and drop it onto another day in my calendar, just like that. Let me option click that day to open it again and boom, it just moves it. So I do a lot of dragging and dropping personally onto the calendar and that moves things. I really love that. Also, if you have two things open side by side in split view, you can easily drag and drop between days. So a lot of times what I'll do is maybe I'll have three different notes open like this. So maybe I have the 26th, the 29th, and the 30th. So then one thing that isn't perfect yet in Note Plan is it doesn't open them all equal widths, but I know that's something that is hopefully planned for the future. But I can do like a week in advance planning. So maybe I have all of these things written in one day and maybe I, you know, I'm working today and I say I have task one, I have task two, Two, and I have task three. There's a couple ways that I can manage these things. I can either go ahead and say, okay, I wanna do it on the 29th and it will copy it like that. I can also just do the arrow myself and say that I wanna do that Thursday. And what that does is it creates a reference in this other note. So it doesn't copy it in my main area, but it creates a reference that I can look at. And then the third thing that I really like to do is just drag and drop it over because normally I don't need a record that I had planned to do it now and I moved it. But to take things one step further, I wanted to get into what's new in Note Plan. Synced lines are relatively new. So what a synced line is, if I click over here and I copy the synced line, you'll see it puts a little asterisk here. And if I go over to the 29th, let me just delete these. 
so it's not taking your attention. So now I had copied the synced task. Let me go ahead and paste it over here. Then this is actually synced. So you can see it's synced to Monday, December 26th. And here it says synced to Thursday, December 29th. And then if I modify, you'll see that it updates in the other location. So that's a really, really nice new feature that is available. If you copy the synced line, you can actually paste it in multiple places, not just one. So once I do that, you'll see that it is referenced in two places and I can modify it from any of those places and it will update everywhere. So those synced lines are pretty new, very powerful. The other thing that's pretty new and very powerful is the ability to copy a URL to the heading. And here's kind of how I use it. So say that I wanna reference that I need to work on these presentations another day again, but I just wanna go back to this project note. I can go ahead and copy URL to heading like that and say, maybe my tasks for today are gonna to be work on presentations. And then I'm going to hyper link command K over here. And so look what happens when I click on this, it's going to bring me right back to what I had hyperlinked there. It doesn't cause any backlinks to come up here at the top where the reference is. So I just really like that. It is a jump to a heading. So again, all I did was I went over here, copied URL to heading, and then I pasted it in as a hyperlink by pressing command K in note plan. There is a great plugin for that if you're using that often. The link creator plugin, you can create a link to your current note plus heading. And as you can see, I made my own keyboard shortcut for it because I use it a lot. Okay. So my daily workflow really is kind of like I described here. I do a lot of opening things in split panes like this or a lot of dragging and dropping directly onto the calendar to move things. I do things very manually. I really like it this way. And again, I love the freedom of NotePlan. If you want to move entire blocks, you just highlight whatever you wanna move, you drag it and you drop it wherever you want, moves it over, option click, to open them in split view. Again, if you have them open in split view, again, you can just drag and drop. Boom, easy, great. Now, the other new things are the weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly notes. I only have the monthly and the yearly turned on for the moment. So in my daily note, the reason that I'm seeing December is because the next level I have is the monthly note. But if you had a weekly note turned on, you would be seeing the next week. Let me show you how that works. So if I go over to my preferences and if I turned the weekly note on, now you're gonna see that my week 52 is shown here. And if I went into my weekly note, then you'll see the monthly note is accessible there. So if I click down on it, you'll see the things that I have that I'm working on for the month of December. If I go into my monthly note, then you would see the next thing. So since I don't have quarterly, the next level would be yearly. So that's kind of how this works. I think it's a very smart execution. I really like that. I'm gonna go back into preferences and just stick with monthly and yearly because that's what I want to show in this video. So if you go into your monthly note, you'll see that we have each month here that we can plan and the note looks identical to all the other notes. It's a blank canvas, though you can create templates as you like them. Now I have a couple things in 2022 and 2023 that I don't necessarily wanna show you. So I'm gonna to jump to 2024, which is blank right now for my yearly note. So you could give it a title. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a title of 2024. And then maybe you'll start with major goals for the year. And then maybe you'll have a subtask of work-related, health-related, family-related, and maybe relationships-related for friends, etc. And then you can, you know, do whatever planning that you normally do. I will say that I do really like Ink and Vault. They have these yearly planning guides and I've been using them for several years as my basis. I add on some other inspiration from other guides that I've seen, but I really like this one. So here is one example. You just have to put in your email. They're free guides. This one guides you to looking back at 2022 and I just use the prompts that I like and then I can put them into note plan as I like them 
or I could fill them out as a PDF and attach to them whatever you like best. But you know, that one's for looking back at 2022. And then here is kind of looking forward to 2023, helping you build your yearly theme, how you're going to improve yourself and so forth. So I really like this. This gave me a lot of inspiration for things that I then put into note plan under my yearly note. Now, one thing that is nice here too, is you might have actually, as you're doing your yearly goal setting, you might put some big picture things, but then you might have some milestones that you might want to check yourself on. So what I mean by that is, say for example, I have a work-related goal that I want to connect with five people on XYZ, whatever you wanna do, and say that I wanna make sure that I've done this by March. In this case, I'm in 2024, so it would be March 2024. Normally, you wouldn't have to type that in because you would be in the proper year. So let's go ahead and select that. And so now, when I go into my monthly notes, and I move into the year 2024, in March, you're gonna see that that comes up in my reference area. And then if I went into my daily notes all the way to 2024, and I click on any date in March of 2024, I'm going to see that goal come up there. I can always collapse it down, but that's because it's my March goal, right? So I see my March stuff coming up. So that's really nice because so many times, you know, we'll do yearly goal setting. We kind of put those things away and we forget to check back in for ourselves. So it's nice that you can just add in a date. You can add in a specific day. You can just add in the month. You could add a specific week, whatever granularity you want. And with note plan, again, you just put in this little greater than sign and you can just naturally type like I did of March 2020. 24, and then you find what you need and you click on it. So maybe you want the week of February 25th to March 2nd. Maybe you want March 2024, or maybe you want quarter one of 2024, and it will give you all of those smart suggestions right there. You can just choose it. And so these hyper references just remind you all the time to check back in on things. You could do the same thing planning forward. Like I know some people do in five years goal setting. And so you could do that and you could just remind yourself to look back on this January of 2029, for example, or maybe in the yearly note of 2029, maybe that's what you wanna do. So anyway, I just think this is really clever and smart and I just wanted to highlight it quickly as we're going into the new year that this could be a really nice way to do some goal setting as well, the fact that I can open things in split view. So maybe I was in my monthly note and say I broke down this task here to connect with five people because I want to do this by March and maybe I didn't finish all of it. So maybe my goal to connect with five people, I need to do this and that. And then if you hard press on the year, it will take you to a daily view over here. So that's nice too. Let's go ahead and open up March 5th in the sidebar. So option click on March 5th. And so then you could be looking at the monthly note kind of over here on the side. And this is actually really great with weekly planning too, but you can have it kind of open over here and then you could do some daily planning and you can kind of have it here to look at so that you can make better plans to accomplish, do this. I like looking side by side. However, you can also open up the references panel and you can see it up here. So I know some people just like to reference it at the top. A lot of times I have a lot going on in my notes, so I like to look at them side by side. Again, something I like about NotePlan is it gives you that freedom to work how you like to work best. Last thing that I'll mention, if you have specific things in your references, you can just pull them right down. Just click and drag and that will actually move it Okay, so that moves it from that monthly goal into today's task, because you just wanna do it that day. You don't need to reference it anymore in your monthly note. That's one thing you can do. Let me undo that. The next thing you can do is hold down the command key and then drag it. What's really nice about that is now it's created a synced line. So if you add extra context, then it's completely synced, as you can see there. And if you check it off, well then it's completely synced. Any completed tasks no longer show up in your reference area, by the way, because it's done. You don't need to see it there anymore, cluttering your space. Last thing is that you can hold down the option key and drag, and that will just create a copy. So that is 
strictly a copy. You can see that it's not synced at all. If I check it off, it doesn't affect this, but sometimes you just wanna copy. That's a nice thing to know, but I think the command drag synced line is amazing specifically for that type of thing. All right, hopefully this wasn't too long. Hopefully it was a little bit helpful. Um, you can probably tell I like dragging and dropping a lot and I really like the flexibility of note plan to do a lot of dragging and dropping. And no matter if I'm in a daily note or if I'm in a project note, again, project notes are just things that aren't attached to just the date. They would be attached to actual titles of notes or a meeting note or whatever you might be doing that is more like a Google doc that you would be creating in note plan. And I also have my calendar that's always right here on the side and I can drag and drop things to make them onto specific days, to move them, to readjust things. I just really love that. And then usually my calendar, daily calendar would be all populated here with what I have to do. So I know my events that are there so that I can do my task planning and make sure that I have enough time in the day because I'm not looking at two different apps to do that. Everything I just do all in note plan. So anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and bye for now.